Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm an applications engineer for our Hawkridge systems in our Portland, Oregon office. The topic of this blog is the SOLIDWORKS slot mate. If you've ever used the workarounds needed for mating slots in the past, you're going to love the new slot mates for 2014. And they work hand in hand with the new slot hole wizard type. We have two types of slots that work with slot mates, straight slots and radial slots. But it's currently a bit picky about how it defines a slot. A straight slot must have parallel sides with two tangent arcs on either side. A radial slot must have two concentric arcs capped with tangent arcs on either side. These are currently things that look like slots but are not considered slots to the slot mate, so don't try to use those. Since this is a mate, we need to mate to something. So what can you mate to with the slot mate? Well, to start with, you can mate to cylindrical faces. Let's grab the mate tool. You'll find the slot mate found underneath the mechanical mates pane right below cam. If I select that mate option, I can select one of the faces of the slot and then a cylindrical face like the hole in this floor. I'll set it to be centered on slot and hit OK. It's just that easy. If I wanted to do the screw, it's the same process. Mechanical mates, select the slot mate type, one of the faces of the slot, and then the cylindrical face of my bolt. Notice that we also have some settings for constraint. Free, which will allow me to move within the range of that slot. Centered in slot. Distance, distance or percentage along slot, which will allow me to type in a value and then flip it either one side or the other. Likewise with percentage, I can type in a percentage value from one side or the other. Another thing that we can use to mate to a slot is a reference axis or an axis of, of any kind really. Temporary axes or reference axes. This opens, up, opens it up to mating just about any shape you want. Here's an example of an extruded polygon. No problem doing that one. Select slot mate, one of the slot faces, and the axis. Another one that we can do with the slot mate tool is slot to slot. In this case, I'll pick a face of one of the slots and then a face of the other one. I'll leave it free to constrain and notice that I get a motion around the entire range of both slots. And finally, we can also do mates between two radial slots. So in this case, let me select one of those faces and go into the mate command. Mechanical mates, slot, and select a face of the other slot. This one will allow motion just in the range of the two slots. And finally, one last one that we can do is a slot mate to a slot in the cylindrical face. When we do that, we get a nice motion within the range of that slot. So there you have a quick overview of the SOLIDWORKS slot mates. For more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel and thank you for watching.